Hello. So I suppose you think you're going to get some mandolin music today, but not the case. I'm showing you the mandolin in order to show you how it compares to the latest version of the mandolin. So you can see they're a comparable size and got a reminiscent shape. The mandolin is the latest incarnation of what I've been working on last year. So last year, you remember, I took a sort of lunchbox, put some buttons in it, made it play music. And then I kind of nailed all the components to a, a big board, uh, part of a bookshelf, actually. Uh, what I've now done is I've made some curvy wooden bits and some stained wooden bits. This is laser cut from bamboo plywood and then stained to make it look a bit darker and polished up. The crank handle is made out of acrylic, so it's a little bit of an improvement on the previous crank handle that was made out of a bent piece of mild steel. Um, internally I've recut the gearbox out of acrylic as well using laser cut techniques as well. The controls, the sounds, everything is exactly the same, so if you look at my other video you can see all that. Uh, just, to, just to give you a quick rundown, so when it's switched on, you operate the crank, there we go, you get sound, you can play one string, you can play a different string, you can play two strings at the same time, you can, if you're daring, play four at the same time, but then the process has a bit of trouble keeping up with that. Um, so the way you play music with this is a combination of the crank to change the amplitude of the sound and Now, if you watch what my fingers are doing, this is binary. This is, um, so let's, uh, let's just go down to one string. D, E flat, E, F, F sharp, G, A flat, A, B, C, C sharp, an upper D, and I can also play another octave up. That's a little difficult to figure that. The last video I did, I played the tune and I said everybody should recognise it. I think almost nobody did. I'm going to try and play it again. One of the things I discovered, apart from the limitations of my not practising, is that um, the processor in here has trouble keeping up the tempo. So when you play anything really quickly, bits of the notes disappear. So the reason 3 by mice wasn't really clear was partly because I was playing it badly and partly because the instrument was actually dropping some of the semitones. So I'm going to try and play it a little slowly and now you know it's 3 by mice, hopefully you'll recognise it. If you play it over and over again, you might pick up three blind mice there. Anyway, thanks for watching.